Hey Elonites, welcome back to the Tesla space where we share the latest news, rumors, and insights into all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk. In case you guys missed it, yesterday was Tesla's Battery Day event and 2020 annual shareholders meeting. We did a live stream, but in case you missed it, today we have a recap video where we're going to cover all the major topics from yesterday's event. There are two new Teslas on the way. Okay, I, maybe I jumped the gun. That's more towards the end of the event. But nonetheless, we'll get more into that later. But let's start at the beginning. Tesla's Battery Day announcement on September 22nd was probably their strangest shareholders event to date as the circumstances of the global pandemic prevented them from staging an indoor event with a live audience. So instead... Elon and his engineers presented their newest visions from a small stage in a parking lot near the Tesla California factory with attendees watching from inside their cars, all Teslas of course. With the strange format aside, what we really saw on battery day was Tesla's roadmap towards a sustainable, affordable, and plentiful electric vehicle. And the battery is the key to reaching that destination. According to Tesla, the only way to accelerate our transition to sustainable transportation is to accelerate the development of the batteries that will power that transportation. Battery Day started off with some general talk about where Tesla is at today, how they've weathered the storm that has been the year 2020, and achieved four consecutive fiscal quarters of profit. Elon lamented that this year has been the hardest in the company's history, but the team has worked insanely hard and the future now looks promising for annual profitability for Tesla. Elon said that in order to do well financially, Tesla needs economies of scale and the best technologies working together. They are doing this by tightening up the time period from when a car is ordered to when it is built and delivered. Raw materials turn into a car, which turns into cash. The faster this process happens, the more the company can capitalize on growth and make bigger profits. The technology side Elon is talking about is their autonomous vehicle system, which he claims is evolving at a more rapid pace than ever before. Following a recent lull in new developments, expect to see a full self-driving beta version on the way to consumers within the next few months. Elon says that the value of Tesla will be determined by the total number of vehicles multiplied by the value of autonomy. In other good financial news, they also outlined how Tesla's value has continued to go up while every other major car manufacturer has seen a reduction in value. But it is battery day, so let's get to the batteries. In this new presentation, Elon and his staff talked about how reaching their number one company goal of transitioning to sustainable energy is extremely time sensitive. The current state of human energy production is a climate experiment to see how much extra CO2 our environment can handle before it collapses. And that's just insane. So Tesla is thinking in terms of how many years can they accelerate the transition away from destructive energy into sustainable sources. And to achieve the speed required, we need to start thinking in terawatt hours. In order to transition the entire global fleet of vehicles over to electric power, we will need 10 terawatt hours of battery production per year. What does that mean? Well, to get there would require a hundred times growth over our current battery production capacity, and that's a lot of batteries. To convert our current power grid over to sustainable energy like solar and wind, that would require 1600 times the increase in battery production to hold all that electricity. These numbers are simply not possible with our current battery technology. It would never be able to scale up fast enough and even if it could, the cost would be way too much. So what we need is a dramatic rethink of battery cell manufacturing to achieve that scale. And luckily that's exactly where Tesla is going with this. Elon said, it's not about how you spend money, it's about how you spend effort, how to yield the most amount of batteries with the effort that Tesla has available. So goal number one will always be a global shift to sustainable energy, but that's a long-term plan. Goal number two is more short-term, and that is to make electric vehicles more affordable. Elon expressed his frustration with not having a truly affordable Tesla vehicle on the market. The Model 3 is getting close, but this is still an upper mid-tier vehicle that will cost forty to 50000 for a decently equipped car, in a league with low-end Audis, BMWs, and such. 
Where Elon is hoping to go is the $25,000 price range, where they are competitive with Honda, Toyota, and Kia, the kind of cars that your average Joe would have in their driveway. But the only thing holding Tesla back from being able to offer their affordable car is battery cost. The price per kilowatt hour is on a downward slope, but the slope is not steep enough. If no one can push their price downward, then the EV market share will never grow to its full potential. This is why Tesla started looking at the design and build process of batteries from the ground up. And they've come up with a plan, a plan to have the cost per kilowatt hour. This plan does not rest on any single innovation. This is a plan that implements creative engineering along every step of battery production. Now this is the part of the presentation where they start going into battery specifics, details like caps and cathodes and anodes and jelly rolls and tabs and... I learned a lot about batteries from this presentation, but I still don't know what I'm talking about. So here is what I gather the simple explanation to be. Bigger battery cells are better, but only up to a certain point. What we really need is a more efficient battery cell. And Tesla's solution to this is called a tabless design. This means simple manufacturing with fewer parts where the electrons travel a shorter distance within the battery structure. This equals a better power to weight ratio for each cell. So without making the battery any bigger, they will produce five times the energy, add 16% to the vehicle range, and produce six times the power. On the manufacturing side, the tabless design will make assembly lines run faster, as every time you have to install a battery tab, the line has to stop production and then restart. Without the need for these stop and starts, Tesla will have a smooth, continuous motion assembly line. The other innovation in their manufacturing process is a dry-coated electrode system. This system eliminates a huge industrial process from battery production that requires a lot of time and space and infrastructure to accomplish. In the traditional wet process, the battery materials are soaked with a liquid solvent, then they are dried, and then the solvent is baked out and removed from the material. Tesla has done away with all of that and achieved a 10 times reduction in the size of their battery plant, plus a 10 times reduction in the energy consumed by that plant. And all of this production is happening right now. Tesla is ramping up the manufacturing of their new cells at a pilot factory in California, which they hope to be outputting 10 gigawatt hours of batteries within the next 12 months. The actual battery plants that are coming will be much bigger than the first. Going back to the idea of spending effort, not money, Tesla is hoping to accomplish with one factory what other manufacturers might need five or even 10 factories to accomplish. Elon outlined the importance of manufacturing and how Tesla is striving to become the greatest manufacturing company on earth. Don't get too excited about this just yet, or expect to see these batteries coming to production cars anytime soon. Elon stressed that all this new tech is very close to working, but it's not there yet. The battery yield is still very low. Tesla's goals are to hit 100 gigawatt hours of battery production by 2022, with the year 2030 seeing 3 terawatt hours of battery production. Remember, we need 10 terawatt hours of batteries per year to replace every vehicle in the world with an electric one. So we've still got a ways to go. The final point that Elon and company made about their new battery design is a shift in the raw materials that they will be putting into the cells. The new Tesla batteries rely only on abundant metals and minerals that will be very easy to source and extract there is no cobalt used in this battery cell, and that is a big deal. Because you can't find cobalt just anywhere, and it is expensive to extract with questionable ethics around just how it is being mined. Taking cobalt out of the battery formula will reduce the raw materials costs of these batteries by 50% over traditional cells. So, we've clearly brought down the battery cost, that's one big part of the affordability problem solved. Now the last step is in vehicle manufacturing. How do we put the car together in the most efficient and also most effective way? Tesla has solved that problem too. The answer is die casting. Tesla's new Gigapress machine can create the entire rear section and front section of the cars in single pieces of aluminum. To make this possible, 
Tesla had to develop their own aluminum alloy that would remain stable through the casting process and hold its shape. So if the front is one piece and the rear is one piece, what holds them together? The batteries. Elon took design inspiration from airplanes, where they evolved from carrying fuel tanks as cargo to having the wings be the fuel tanks, or the fuel tanks be the wings, however you want to look at it. In the new Tesla design, the car doesn't carry the batteries, the batteries are the car. The center section of the vehicle structure will be made of battery cells. They use the same design as Formula One cars to create an incredibly strong and thin housing for the battery cells that will actually make the new Tesla frame incredibly stiff, more so than any normal car. Even the Tesla Roadster with no roof will have a more rigid structure. This design also moves the batteries closer to the center of the car. This will increase safety in the event of a side impact. The batteries will be further from the impact zone and it will also make the cars handle better as the weight distribution will be optimized for better cornering performance. Again, Elon made it clear that none of this tech will change the world overnight. It will take one year to 18 months before we start even seeing the benefits of all of this. And then we're looking at three years before it actually starts to make a difference in the global market. But moving on from batteries and into what I initially teased at the beginning of the video, Elon also announced the hotly anticipated Model S Plaid is now ready for pre-order and will ship to customers next year. This triple engine luxury sedan will make the 0 to 60 run in less than 2 seconds, do a quarter mile drag race in less than 9 seconds, and it still goes around corners very fast. Elon expects it to make the fastest ever lap time around the Laguna Seca racetrack by a production vehicle. That includes every supercar you can think of. This Model S will be faster than all of them. And he did also tease that with battery prices coming down as a result of this new technology being implemented, we could expect to see a cheaper $25,000 Tesla coming in three years. So while we didn't get something quite as jaw-dropping as the Cybertruck, I will happily take two new cars coming in the next few years. All right, folks, that's it for the Battery Day recap. I know it's a lot of information to try and take in. We won't even pretend to fully understand it all, but what we can definitely say is that this tech that was announced today absolutely will change the world and the way we live in it. And it will definitely be a change for the better. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We drop new videos every Monday and Friday. Please hit the notification bell so you don't miss them, and I will see you in the next one.